you're not used to being that guy. Yep. So as a drill, you're like, you know, I'm about to leave the venue anyway. F it. Let me just do it. That's a good mentality to have for anybody, no matter where you're at with things. Like instead of just going home, you're about to go home anyway. You might as well do something that's a little bit ballsy that's slightly outside of your comfort zone or the way you would be doing things normally. Just as like that one-off thing, you know? You've never opened in a direct manner before you're gonna go home. Just do a direct approach at the venue, just like if you've never done that before. Just to do it that one time or wherever your sticking point is. Like there was a point in my journey where I wasn't good at getting physical. So like I went out with my boy and the goal for the night was like open with physicality. Just open with physicality. And then there was a different point in my journey where I was getting physical, but I couldn't bridge the gap. So the new goal was like, make out in one minute. Try to kiss the girl within the first minute. We did it a couple weeks. And then the next time I went into the venue, I walked in the venue and there was a girl leaving and we made eye contact. And right away, I just stopped her. I was like, you're not going anywhere. She's like, what? What do you mean? I was like, you're not leaving. I just picked her up and did a 180 and brought her back into the venue. And like brought her to the bar and we started making out within a minute. Are you always going to run an interaction like that? No, no. Okay. Is that perfect game? No, but it's the fucking drill. It's the training. It's the idea of like, let me do this as a drill to just push myself. And eventually you're going to get a, a positive reference experience, whether it's showing intent, whether it's being more physical, maybe it's just like opening in a more exaggerated manner or opening more loud and strong and confidently, but you just do it that one time and you're like, wait, this is possible. I just did it. Once you get to that point, you're going to start being at this crossroad identity crisis because you're like, I know I can be that guy, but I'm so not used to being that guy that you start getting in your head about it. And you're like, oh, well, I'm not like in that right mind state. I got to get into more of a social flow first so I can actually be that guy. Like you have it in you. Everybody has it in you. I promise you, you guys all have it in you. If there was a fucking gun to your head, you would do it. You're just not giving yourself the permission to do it, which is why maybe the first time, it's just like, you know, I was going to go home, but fuck it. like I had an extra goal tonight that I wanted to just push it in this one manner. So let me just do this one time just to fucking do it. First off, you're going to feel awesome afterwards just for actually doing that. You'll feel free, man. It's like freeing literally because you're like suppressed because it's in you, dude. It's literally in you. That's why it feels freeing. It's because it's in there and it's suppressed and you finally just let it out that one time and you get that moment of like relief. And you're just like loose as f after that. Over time, you do it more and more and more. You get more evidence that you can do that. And you slowly start bringing that side out of you progressively. And then it eventually, it'll get to a point where it actually just becomes you. Because once you hit like a tipping point where you get enough success with it, you start conditioning yourself. Like anytime you open and you don't do that, like you instantly were like, oh, I didn't do it there. F and that's the moment your brain starts conditioning yourself to reward yourself for doing the good behavior. And you like constantly start reinforcing it more and more and more. This is for every step of the fucking journey, whether it's pulling, whether it's like your first time having sex, first time kissing the girl, first time even just saying hi. It's on all of these things. You're always gonna have to make that decision to just take it to that next level every time. It could just be showing intent, it could be opening a little bit more confidently, it could be going for the pull. That first leap to the next section, you're always gonna be felt with that moment of, can I do this? And you got to push through in that moment, man. You got to push through in that moment. A lot of the times guys will have so many of those opportunities that they don't do it and they start beating themselves up over it. And then eventually they get frustrated enough to the point where they're like, you know what? F*** it. Anything but putting out again because I'm hating myself. And that's oftentimes when they'll do it. That's what it was for me for like going for the kiss. I remember went on like three dates, never made the fucking move, hated myself, pissed off. And the next time I was like, you know what? I don't even care if I get rejected. I just want to fucking do it. And then... You do it. Oh shit, I could do this. Went through it a couple times in my head about doing it. Sometimes I would do it, sometimes I wouldn't. And then more and more and more, you just start becoming that guy. Do you spend hours and hours on YouTube watching pickup and dating content, but yet you're still not getting the results you feel like you deserve? I mean, that's exactly how I was. I spent nine months watching YouTube content obsessively without ever making a single approach, without ever talking to a girl. And the messed up part of it was, I genuinely thought I was getting better while I was watching that content. I would watch a new video, I would study, I would learn something, and in my mind, I thought I was getting better. And this process continued over months and months and months. The reality, I never talked to a single girl during that time. And when I finally went out, I had watched so much content that I was so overwhelmed in my brain that I couldn't even open. 
Nine months wasted studying content to take zero action. Because the reality is, it's not about the content you study. It's about the action, the implementation, and the execution that's ultimately going to get you those new reference experiences, that's going to get you that success, that's going to build up that core confidence and help you internalize the content you actually study. Okay, Studying without execution is literally meaningless. It's actually going to put you more in your head. Okay, that's literally what happened to me. And it wasn't until I finally hired a mentor and was invested, had some skin in the game, had some accountability that I finally started taking action. He showed me that step-by-step game plan, that roadmap, as well as what I needed to focus on this week, right now, what I needed to go out and do and execute. And guess what? Once I had all of those pieces and I was actually invested and I had that guidance, I did take that next step. I did push it one step forward and I did finally start to make some progress, okay? Watching a bunch of content without doing the other side of it is absolutely pointless. And this is exactly why I've come up with my brand new mentorship program, to hold guys accountable, to give them that personalized guidance, as well as that step-by-step game plan for them to focus on what they need to go out to implement and to execute right now. Not watching hours and hours and hours of content to get more in their head, no. No, no, none of that, okay? I'm gonna literally show you what you need to do right now just to take that next step. We're gonna hold you accountable. I'm gonna answer any questions that you have along the way and you're gonna get that personalized coaching that you need from someone that's been through this before, okay? That's the best way to get results in this and ultimately the most effective, fastest process to really genuinely get good at this, okay? So if you're interested in doing this, click the link below, click the link in the description and book a free call with us to find out more about how you can work with me, not a member for my team, but actually you'll work with me personally to achieve your goals with women and dating. Click the link below and we'll talk to you soon. Peace out.